Hello and welcome to KNR project. Today I am going to show you how to install OBS Studio on your PC. So first of all you will have to go to a browser and then search OBS Studio. The first link that pops out is the link that we require. You guys can select your operating system among these three. Since I use Windows 10, I will just have to click download installer. After the setup file downloads, you just have to install it and launch the program. You guys can see that I have been recording this video with the help of the OBS Studio. So to begin with, you will have to add a scene right here. And then you will have to add a source from which you would like to capture the video. So you can either capture audio with the help of the audio input capture or audio output capture. Or you can capture an image with the help of this image capture source. Or you can capture the applications that you run on this PC with the help of the window capture. Today I'll be mainly focusing on display capture which records the whole screen. So for that I'll have to add a scene and after adding the scene I'll have to add the display capture source. So as soon as I add the display capture source you can see that a dialog box where screens within a screen pops out. So I'll have to click OK on that too. You can also customize the setting of the software. You have to go to the setting and then you can change the theme, the language as well as the output format of the videos. So for that you will have to go to the output option and then you can change the video format right here. I have kept it mp4. After changing it you just have to save it. Many people complain about the dark screen problem while using the OBS studio. So the main cause to the problem is the multiple graphic cards used on the PC. So to solve the problem you have to go to the device manager. On the device manager you can see display adapters option where you can disable one of the graphics on the device. So my PC has Radeon graphics, here might have NVIDIA one or any other graphic cards. So that does not matter, you just have to disable it for a while. So after you disable, you can see that your display capture working properly. So best of luck guys, I hope this will solve the problem because when I first started using OBS, I, I faced the same problem. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like the video then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.